So we have contracts that we sign with pipelines. We have two different pipelines that come into the city, uh, Black Bear and Southern Natural. TGP is actually the pipeline. Black Bear is the transmission to get it here. Once it comes into our gate one and gate three stations in the city, gas is dispersed to residential, commercial, industrial customers. So we have a cost of gas, which is made up of what the pipelines charge us plus a transportation fee. Then we add a markup onto that and that goes out to the customer as a whole rate. So that rate's gonna change monthly based on what the cost of gas is doing for that month. Hedging is where we go out to the market and we buy on the futures. Um, and that's actually going out to the commodities trading market and purchasing gas. But we'll see it, we'll see a price out there and, and we, we think that's a good price to lock in gas at. And we will determine somewhere around 10,000 increments or decatherms of gas is what we'll purchase at a time. So say I, I want to buy gas in June of 25, it is $3.17 today. I want 10,000 decatherms because I think the price is going to be higher than that when that time frame comes around. I'm going to let Intercon know that. They're going to go out and they're going to try to buy it as close to that price. Sometimes it'll be lower. It might be a few cents higher and they will lock that rate in so that in June that gas will be delivered to us. Well, that just keeps our rates stable for our end use customers. Um, currently, we are hedged out through the winter of 25, 26, and we try to do a roughly 80 to 90% is what we will hedge. And then the difference, we will purchase on the daily. Each day, based on the weather, the weather is a driving factor and all of that, we determine what we think our system as a whole is gonna use. And I use those numbers based on contracts that we have set out each month with the pipeline to determine if I need to purchase more for that particular day. Well, just recently, for instance, the cold front that came through that kept us really cold, we actually hit a peak on that day, on Saturday. Um, we, we burned like 36,000 that day. Now our overall peak in history, which was about seven years ago, was 38,000. During that cold snap, we were under OFOs on both pipes, which are operational flow orders. And that can trigger pricing as well. But what that means for us is the pipeline has come in and they have said, these are the guidelines of which you've got to operate because we may have um, critical issues on our system. So during the winter time, it would be a short OFO for the most part. So what they want is for you to nominate more than what you think you're going to flow that day or what you're gonna burn on that day. If you don't, then they will assess a penalty for anything over 2% that you were short.